The dogs are just so loud, I, I couldn't talk in them. Well, it could be my last vlog. You Maybe somebody will upload it for me. It might happen. I'm literally freaking. Oh, maybe because I can only hold with one hand, it's making me feel queasy. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, leaving Eastwood for, well, a few hours anyway, and going to Antipolo on a motorbike, on the back of a motorbike, uh, with Gerard, uh, the brother-in-law of our friends here. It's gonna be an adventure. I am wearing a long sleeve shirt, as you can see, and I'm already starting to sweat because this part of the is hot, so hot. Um, but yeah, I got sunscreen on, I got this. It's, I'm gonna put this collar up here and try to protect myself from the sun because it's gonna be hot very very hot anyway up in the mountains though it gets much cooler and there's apparently a beautiful breeze and well this video will show you that you can live here in manila in a part this part anyway and within i'm told within 15 20 minutes i'll be out in the provinces i'll be up in this beautiful lush nice area so we will see is it possible to live here in the city and still escape to the provinces within 15 20 minutes that's what they're telling me let's find out here we go He's like all dressed up. He looks like he's going for a motocross. He's even got water. Smart guy. I had limited hand space, so no water. But I figure you can buy it everywhere. All right, so this is the ride. Oh, I didn't even know you had a you have a box. Little yeah, where's it? One twenty-five. One hundred CCs. Woohoo! Going up a mountain, two people. That's right. We're off to the races. It's gonna be a heck of an adventure, I can tell already. Just going up the hill inside the parking garage to get out was a bit of a challenge. So far, no traffic though. I don't have a windscreen on this, so I apologize for all the wind. I'm gonna figure it out on this new type of camera. Okay, so we're not very far in to the whole strip, like 20 minutes, okay, 25 maybe at the most. Um, definitely, definitely out of the city now, which is really cool, unbelievable. But check out this view. So we are at, I'm gonna ask them, I'm gonna ask them because I can see the name at first there. But this place is like one of those lookout places where you can grab, you know, coffee, food, that kind of thing. And yeah, let's see, let's see. What's the name of the place? Sorry? Don Rafael. Rafael? Don Rafael. Don Rafael. Fantastic. Hello, guys. Hello. Good morning. All right. So you can, down here, there's one level. And then up there, there's a whole other level up there, too. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I saw them smiling. I saw you back there. I saw you. Hello, everybody. Hi. Maganda Hi. Omaga. Maganda Omaga. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so let's go, let's go. Let's go take a look at this awesome view of the whole entire Manila city sort of thing. There is some haze, unfortunately. So, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Oh, and you can only get a bit of a cutoff. I think I went too far down around the corner. When we were over there, you could see it all, but still, this is still really, really, really crazy. And if you're wondering, are we really in the provinces? Uh, yeah, roosters, little homes down there. We're definitely in the province. But yeah, that's uh, an incredibly large city. And the camera's not going to be able to see it all, but my eyes can see way, way, way out. Ow. All right, we're going to have a little coffee with our friend there before we head up even further up to the top of this thing. Because once we get up there, apparently, all we're going to see is green in all directions. Looking forward to that. The big thing I noticed when driving up here was that the roads are getting much better. Manila as a whole is getting so much 
cleaner and nicer. The roads are getting better. Um, now we did leave at 9 a.m. So on a weekday, 9 a.m., as you can see, traffic is really not a problem. You can fly up here really easily, um, even if you had a car. Motorcycles are always faster because, well, you don't get blocked all the time. You can actually go in between everybody and kind of go up the side. But uh, today, today I don't think I would have changed that much. It was a really smooth drive to come up here if you just stay out of sight of uh, rush hour. Because here in the Philippines, 5 a.m., 6 a.m., the roads are crazy busy because that's when everybody's going to work. And it's much cooler outside. It was literally across the street. This was the location, that's the communication barrier part. Was I, I told them to stop there. Meanwhile, we were just going to the next spot. Right across the street. My bad, my bad. It's all right, we got coffee. So the name of the place is Cloud Nine Leisure Club. And uh, it looks like they even have hotel rooms here and everything. So this has got the 360 degree view. Oh, there you go. So it's right there even, 360 resto. And I think you climb up this thing, I don't know. Do we go up here? Yeah, oh. No, no. Yeah. Oh, we walk? Okay. I see, so you gotta park down below and then walk up. A little bit of exercise. Now I think cars are allowed up here, just not motorbikes. Okay, well. <laughs> They aren't wrong. Humans are the only species that would cut down trees, make paper out of them, and they're right, save the trees on them. Yeah, they're not wrong. All right. Oh, my legs are getting a heck of a workout. I feel it. I feel it. It's just like a straight up shot. Oh, it's interesting up here. They look at the different vendors and everything all lined up. Oh, oh this way. Heritage Museum, Milk Tea, House of the Bone, lots and lots of history stuff. It's definitely been here a while. 10 minute viewing with picture taken. Look at that. Free entrance. And there's the restaurant that we were at. Don Raphael. There you are, guys. My bad, my bad. Look at that though. Now you've got the whole city almost. There's a little cut off here. Oh, that's the 360 restaurant. Thank you, sir. All right, we got our tickets. 100 pesos each to get up here. And this is what you pay to go up. How do you like that? There you go. Oh yeah. Is that like chicken wire it's made out of? Interesting. Wow, feeling this. Woo! Well, it could be my last vlog. You maybe somebody will upload it for me. It might happen. It this thing shakes sideways, left, right. I have to come back down this. Holy, this is freaky. I'm literally freaking. Oh, maybe because I can only hold with one hand, it's making me feel queasy. It's not that it's, well, it's about to get high, but it's not that high yet, but this thing is swaying and swinging. I paid to do this. Oh my gosh. Oh God. Wow. Oh my God, I can't believe it. All right, I'm turning the camera off. I need two hands. This is freaking me out. Well, he's doing it with one hand, but I gotta tell you, it sways way more. It feels like it anyway, if you use only one hand. The two hands, it got a lot easier. Seemed to really balance it out. But he's doing great, and he's looking down the whole way. I'm not really afraid of heights. I'm just sometimes terrified of how people construct things. <laughs> but it was cool, it was cool. Glad I did it. Congratulations, you made it! Wow, that was, that was interesting. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. I got these, like, everybody put little padlocks, you know, a little COVID mask, another COVID mask, bandanas, people's IDs. 
all kinds of things people put up onto the sides here and yeah so yeah here you go big medical center I remember driving by that there's a quarry off in that distance there but see there's a lot of countryside out this way even some nice houses with some pools I kind of figured that some of the richer people would be like I want a place for the weekend up in the up in the mountains just outside of the city that would be popular I bet There you go, 360 degree view. Lots of cell towers up here, holy gosh. Feels like that's a lot of them. And this is, a, uh, oh, they got a zip line here too. I don't know if it's operational. Oh, not a zip line, like a chair. And you can go all the way down to that area. So it's not the only way up here, or it used to be not the only way up here. No, can't go any more that way. How was that walk? You like that walk? I don't know if he understood me though. He, he, he's, uh, he's doing pretty good as English. Uh, you know, my friend there, he, uh, he's American. He's uh, a vet. And uh, he said that when they first met, you know, when he got his, with his wife and met his brother-in-law, um, he didn't know very much English at all. And now he's starting to really get a lot more. I guess that's another like 360 type restaurant or something overlooking, I'm not sure. Looks like it. And there's the city. But that's the town down there, Kogyo. And that's where we're going, to the town of Kogyo. Father's coming over to say hello. 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 How are you? Fine. Good. Good. Are we getting off or? Uh, All right, guys. So yeah, his house is down this way. Okay, cool. Wow. All of a sudden, we've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven or eight lanes on each side. All of a sudden. Okay, we got to the market, and uh, we're gonna see how much action goes on in this area. It looks like it's a pretty action-packed place. Hello, guys. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, all right, let's go, let's go. This looks like Divisoria. So packed in here. Hello, hello. Good, I'm good, I'm good, sorry. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm actually really surprised. Looking from the street, I really thought it was like a whole shopping mall and you come in here and it's, it's a gigantic market, which is pretty hello. cool. How are you? Fantastic, Oh, look at the sausages. Hot dog. Oops. That's getting crowded. Look at the meat section here. I love how they lit it all up. So there's, there's no shadows, no dark areas. Maganda Omaga, everyone. Look at, everybody's friendly in the meat department. I love how bright it is in here. It's so bright. You know, you know what you're buying because it's, it's lit up so well. Hello guys, hello, good morning. Wow, the meat, the, the butchers are always the friendliest. I don't know why. Hey, Magadda Omaga. Morning everybody, morning. What the heck? I should have came to the meat departments before. How are you brother, doing good? Are you a blogger? Yeah, YouTube, YouTube vlogger. I can follow you. Yeah, yeah. He'll help you. We got a dancing guy over here. Wow! Wow! 
superstar. Superstar. How are you, brother? Listen, you don't have to do meat anymore. You can dance. Dancing's your new future. Good morning. Chicken over here. Some pork over there. No, no, I'm right now, but thank you. It's a little raw for me. Uh, chicken over there, chicken over here. And then we go to the fish. Hello, guys. Maganda Umaga. Look at all this fish. Was it all caught today? Fresh? Fresh today? Perfect, wonderful. Maganda Umaga. Thank you. There you go. That's the markets of Antipolo. How are you, brother? You good? Uh, markets of Antipolo. Like a gigantic mall, but just of a market. Hello, everybody. Maganda Omaga. Wait, wait, what was that? What's that? Palamin. Palamin? What's that mean? Juice. Juice. Palamin is juice. I'm learning my Tagalog. Thank you. I have to be careful of a place like that because I, not that I'm saying anything about them, but if I don't see where the water comes from, I, I'm sure it's good. But foreigners sometimes stomachs aren't the same as a local stomach. Good morning, everybody. Maganda Umaga. Maganda Umaga po. Thank you. And so this whole area is like very, very bustling. You can see on both sides, lots and lots of shops all over here. And there's a lot of like universities, I think I'll be nursing or whatever. Maybe I'll ask. It, can you guys tell me what the universities in this area? Is it nursing? No, we're still in senior high school. Folks. No, I know, but in this area. Um, around in Our Lady in Fatima University, there's a nursing program. I saw a lot of people in nursing outfits, that's for sure. What other uh, schools are in this area? Right, okay, so that's the one university here, really? Yes. Is the nursing? Yes, definitely. All right, anybody gonna be a nurse one day? No. No, what are you gonna be? I'm gonna be a lawyer someday. A lawyer? Fantastic. I'm going to be a flight stewardess. Flight stewardess? I'm going to take a marketing role. Marketing? marketing? Listen, you're like in my field there. <laughs> and what about you guys? Going to teacher. Teacher? Hotel. <laughs> Hotel? Yes. Hotel management? Yes. Um, in my world, a lot of people, what, what year are you in school? Grade 12. Grade 12. Okay, well, yeah, I guess by grade 12 you kind of have an idea. But a lot of people go to college and they're like, I don't know what I want to be. Here in the Philippines, they often already know what they want to have as a teacher. So that's so cool. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Magando Omaga and uh, Salamat. Salamat. You're getting all my Tagalog in one shot. Take care, thank you. Vlogger is a Tokyo vlogger. He's a famous vlogger? Yeah, he's a vlogger. Well. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, brother. What's, your, what's the name of your vlog? Wait, get up at that. All right, we're going to show you. Oh, so you're a Facebook vlogger. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. He's got 248,000 followers. You're the man. You're the man. Yes. Thank you, brother. Thank you. You're speaking Tagalog? Well, barely, barely. Salamat. Okay. Maganda Omaga. Maganda, maganda. Nice That's, to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Now, even outside of the market, you know, people are trying to uh, earn a living here, and so they set up along the streets. Good morning, Maganda Omaga. Maganda Omaga. Selling the. What is it called again? Oh, I forget. Hello, guys. I just know it's an emoji. Good morning, good morning everybody. Maganda Omaga. Hi. Hello, hello. I love you. Wow, wow, you just <laughs> met me. Love at first sight. Love at first sight. Thank you very much. How are you, brother? Hi, good morning. Good morning. Hey. Onions, how are you, brother? Doing good? Good boy. Awesome, awesome. All the way across, more and more on this side as well. We're gonna go my friends here to his house his ancestral house I guess where his family lives his cousins all that stuff so we're gonna check it all out um, it is uh, when he told me we're gonna go to this little province area I was expecting more province area 
but it's like a city in here. It is a city, but this area was, uh, um, you know, it's pretty crazy. A lot more crazier than I expected this area to be. But you still see the green up under the hills there. But down here, there's bustling. Absolutely crazy here. Okay, we'll go down that way. Mm. Right. You want to follow him in? All right, so we get to go and see his home. All right. Hello, everybody. Maganda Umaga. Hey! Say hi to the, hi, hi to the blog. Hi guys. Say hi guys. Hi everybody. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Uh, drone. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> you lead the way, my friend. Okay, because I don't know where to go. Oh, Whoa. let's go. Let's go. Of course. Come to your humble home. All right, let's choose. Wow, the dogs. The dogs don't know me, so. The dogs get a little excited. The dogs are just so loud, I, I couldn't talk in there. How many dogs? Four? Wow. Four dogs, but I have to talk up here. Here, brother. Okay, so going up to the basketball court after uh, doing a lot of. Uh, what do you call it? Like FaceTimes and stuff like that with different family members all over the place. All right, which way, my friend? Is it that way? Yeah, it's right. This way, okay. Oh, there it is. Good morning. Good morning. Maganda Maga. Go a little lower. People's laundry in my way. There it is. Basketball court. Hello, guys. Maganda Omaga. How are you? How are you? Good afternoon. Is it afternoon already? All right. What's uh, afternoon? Maganda. Sorry? You got to go slower. Tanghali. Maganda Tanghali. All right, Maganda Tanghali. Got to get used to that. They're drying something right here. I don't know if it's noodles or something. Something's out drying right now. So you guys doing good? Yeah. And the good thing is, is from right here, I could launch the drone because there's nothing above. That'll be perfect. Walk in the neighborhood for a little bit and then we're gonna go to the riverbanks he told me and that'll be our final destination for this little trip into polo because I got plans how are you guys um, we got plans over in uh, Makati 
Got some uh, friends I'm gonna meet up, go back to the Royale, um, which is like one of the oldest nightclubs that are still running in Makati. I've been there before, have a lot of good time. I know the general manager real well. Seriously, really, really nice person. And his whole family got to meet. Hello! Are you good at English? No? No? All right. Ask about the neighborhood, but so far no go. Uh, unfortunately, my host doesn't uh, have the greatest English. We use a lot of Google Translate, but uh, we've been making it work and I appreciate that. Hello, good morning. Magando Maga. Hey, how are you, brother? Doing good? Got a traffic jam all of a sudden. Hey! I already forgot good afternoon and I've lost my guy, so it's just me. So it's gonna be morning still to, for everybody. Oh, I don't wanna climb that hill. When you ride a motorcycle, you gotta wear jeans or long pants. I have that shirt I'll put over top of this, so you really gotta cover yourself from the sun. So it's very, very hot for me right now. Um, so climbing the big hills right now is a killer. It's a killer on me. It's hot, it's very hot. I thought in the mountains it'd be cooler. Hello! Uh, Magando Omaga, I think. Pleasure to meet you. There we go. Say hi! Say hi! You wave hi? Oh, she's hiding now. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Some of the friendliest people are always the people that you find, uh, um, I don't know, like they have a lot more happiness maybe, even if they have less. So, it's very nice to have. Uh, surround yourself with happy people. Good morning or good afternoon. Hello, hello. How are you, brother? Cat in there. Good afternoon. How are you, bro? Doing good? good. Yeah? What's your name on your YouTube channel? And my YouTube channel is That Philippines Life. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Shout out, brother. All right, let me go find my uh, friend again. See, we can't uh, get going to the river. The riverbanks. Riverbanks. Oh, there you are. Ready for the riverbanks? I think I have my stuff in your mother's house still. My hat and my shirt. Never turn back again. 